Hi everyone and welcome to the Fight Club. Today we have an international guest, Rustam Serbiev. Rustam, how are you? I'm doing fine, brother. And you? I'm really fine. Rustam, can you introduce yourself for people who doesn't know you and tell us a little bit about how you started your MMA career? Of course. I'm I'm a 24 years old guy. I'm 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 my nationality is from Chechnya. I live in Belgium. You know, I'm training here in America, San Jose, California, in the best gym in the world, aka. You know, everybody is training here. You know, we have champions. Nobody have like these champions in the UFC. We have five champions or coach made five champions, you know, undisputed. We have one guy with undisputed champion. You know, nobody beat him. You know, it's big gym. It's it's a, it's a honor to train here, you know, and to be part of this gym. I started my MMA, MMA career like four years only ago. Like before I did wrestling, judo, kickboxing. I moved to Belgium. I started then doing judo and kickboxing. Then I went to the Thailand, Phuket. You have in Thailand two AKA, AKA Thailand and Phuket. I started the MMA. I like it MMA. You know, I saw coach. I saw everybody, you know, like different fighters. And then I had one friend from Tajikistan. He moved to AKA San Jose here. And then he talked to me, why you don't come here? Come here, we're going to train together, you know? And then I come here. I didn't, I come here like 2018. And then the coach said me, you have to fight, like do amateur fight. I want to see how you're going to fight. I do amateur fight. I won in second round. Then I do second fight too. I won it too. Then I went back to Belgium. I fight it like national championship, like Belgium. I won this fight. Then last fight, I come back. Then my coach told me, you have to do the last amateur fight for the title. I did I did fight against guy from URI Fiber, the team Alpha Male, Sacramento. It was a good guy, very strong guy, like, you know, very big guy. I beat I beat him on the points, unanimous decision. I won the title and then coach did say you have to go to professional. And then it started like this, brother. And what we, what was your starting point of you coming to the AKA? Coming to the AKA, brother. Uh, because my friend and coach told me, come. Okay. I, did, I, I, I just, I just did camera. I just started, you know, it was my, it was my motivation, you know. Coach say, I, I want you to come. You just come. I, I, then I come, you know, from 2018. From 2018, I'm part of AK. I know at the AK, at AK, you have Javier Mendez. What does Javier Mendez brings to you, fighter life, as a coach? He brings a lot, brother. A lot. He, he's not a coach. He's not only a coach, he's more like father, you know. AK is like, not like only like a gym, we are like a family, we are too close to each other, you know. We help each other on everything. Yeah, you have like problems outside the gym, we're going to help you too. Like you see now, like Ken Velasquez, he's sitting in the jail. You know, whole team go to the, you know, to government, talk to, to let him get him free. Because, you know, what he did, every man should do it. Because almost they raped his, uh, you know, his uh, child, you know, his, uh, his girl, his child. One guy, he, t- he tried to touch her. She's only like 12 years old, and he, sh- he, did, shoot, he did shoot him. And every father will do it. I will do it too. I think you will do it too. Like every man will do it too, you know? And that's why everybody is standing out, you know? Like every time when it's the, the government things here, everybody go with free cane. Velasquez, everybody go outside to support. AK is like more family. Like Coach Hartel, when you fight, you have to enjoy. We don't yeah. need to stress. If, if you train here like in the gym, you... How you spar in the gym, you're going to fight too. Just relax. It's, he, he tells every time, just enjoy your fight and stay relaxed. The key, he tells every time, the, the key is relax, you know. That's why I'm learning here a lot of stuff today. I did first time I started, you know, like my sparrings today. I do three round sparrings against good guys. It was very good sparrings. I Are feel good? good because I, I just coming back after surgeries, you know, I had big surgeries on my knee, like right leg and on my lower back, but I know I feel good. I, I start slowly now. Okay, I agree with you. And I know uh, at the UK, you are very close, you are like a family. And uh, your last fight was in October 2021 at the 100 uh, person fight. More than yeah. nine months, I can imagine the desire to go back into the cage is important now. Yes, but I'm hungry. I want to fight two, three times. I want to fight two times before this year, before this year ends. If it, if it can happen, I will fight three times. If I don't have injuries, you know, like if I don't have problems with cutting weight, 
if no like injuries, I will fight three times. But for sure, I need to fight two times. I want to fight September, and then we will see maybe end of October too. Islam is Islam is Islam is working on it. We will see. Yes, and after this fight, you had an accident in France in Lyon. How do you feel today, Rustam? How I feel now? Yes. Yeah, I feel I feel now better, brother. Because my back, you know, like my right side nerves, it was very close. It, you know, my almost my right hand stopped working, my right leg too. You know, it was difficult when I was training. It, it was happened before this fight, before you know, 29 October. It was happened, but I was thinking it's like injury. You know, like maybe I hurt my by wrestling. But when I go after the fight to the doctor, he say like I go Tuesday to the doctor. He say we have to do immediately surgery. Okay. And then Wednesday I went surgery. I they do like two surgery at the same time. You know. But now I feel good, you know, I feel great. I have energy. I'm hungry now to fight. I cannot fight. The, the most important thing is that now you are better and you feel good. I know you are twini, training with Khabib, his cousins, but also Islam Akhashev. How does it feel to train with these monster guys? Brother, you know, it's, it's like motivate. If you fight with them, you know, like training, they help, they help very hard, you know. Not only like outside the gym, you know, they, they are like Islam, like, you know, older guys. I respect them like older brothers, you know, the other guys are same same age like me. We respect each other. We help each other, you know. If I have questions, I ask them, you know, they help me a lot. Khabib too, you know, before when, last time when I saw him, I think he was preparing for the fight against uh, Tony Ferguson, but this fight didn't happen. Yes. This time I do I do sparrings with him too, you know, he helped with me a lot too. When first time I go in the cage with him, you know, in AKA, if you go to the cage, it's same like fight. You have to show everything what you can. And then I, I went and, and then one day I go sparring coach say, you have to go two rounds with Habib in the cage. And then it was like, you know, oppa, first time, surprise, you know. And then I was thinking like he was 27 and all, you know, this time I was thinking, look, I'm, you know, I'm fighting. I'm doing sparring against the best guy. If I can do now something, it's it's something special, you know. I tried, you know, I, tr I tried everything what I can do, you know. But you know, Habib is uh, same. Like in the in the fight in the gym, he's the same. He take you down, he make you tired, you know, and he do his thing. But he 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 did learn me a lot of things, you know, like not only about fighting, but mentally. He's mentally very strong. Yes. If you are mentally not strong, brother, you cannot go far in this fighting. Like, for example, I'm going to show you, like, Conor McGregor. You think he's mentally strong? No. No. First, he makes something, then he went down. When the money comes, if you're mentally That's not strong... Not uh, I, I, I totally agree with you about this mind. Uh, and I think you, you, you train with these monster guys. I guess it conditions you to perform and give your best on the octagon. Yes, brother. Like before the fight, when, when I was training with Habib, this, I was here three months, like it's two years ago, before, before the corona starts. I had to fight in uh, Belgium for the title. Brother, I was ready, you know, like I was like monster ready to fight. Like, I don't know, like 17 or 18 opponents change it in five days. 17, 18 opponents, you know, change it in five. Mm -hmm. Nobody wanted to fight me. Yes. And then, they, and then I don't know, then the, the organization finds somebody like in Ukraine again, you know, like Ukraine. If you if they if you they got good money, you know, like in Ukraine, if you pay in euros good money, they have good money there back. He said, okay, but I, I know it. I'm gonna I, I want it, I'm knock him out, you know, in the first night. I will take the title. I was ready, brother. Nobody even I, if if somebody couldn't stop me, it was myself, you know. Yes. And then the corona happened, I was cutting weight, like four days before the fight. This organization sent me say we have to cancel the, the event. Brother, then I was I Then I was everything done, you know, my, then I was mentally, mentally a little bit broken, you know, I worked hard, for, very hard for this fight because it was title fight. I wanted, you know, I wanted title, but it's okay. Then I fight it in Belarus. I lose like first, first fight, but I make it stupid decisions, you know, I, yes. I went, to, I went, I went to fight on uh, 85 kilogram, but I, my weight is only 77 kilogram, you know, and then after the fight, you know, the coach Javier talked with me, like Habib too, you don't have to make this first decision. You know, I wanted to fight. I I was just hungry. You know, I just take the fight. I, I did a couple fights like after 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 after. Then I lose again one fight. I broke my leg, my ribs. You know, my nose because I fight it. I was only 75 kilogram. I fight against guy with like 85, 86 kilogram. You know, it's like 10 kilogram different. And he cut it down to this weight. You know, 
But next day he was, I don't know, maybe 90 kilogram. I don't know. Brother, I hit him so hard, like elbows on his forehead, you know, like knees, like jumping knees. He didn't go down with it. It's okay, brother. I learned it. My record is now 8-2. In September, I'm going to make 9-2. In October, 10-2. And then we will, we will be there where we need to be. I, I think the next time when you will be back in the cage, is you you come back is will be great. And uh, at the AKA, what on what aspect do you think you have progressed the most since you are involved in AKA? Brother, I need to like progress, you know, because I I'm I was scared in my I hurt my back, you know, last time I couldn't yeah. people. I, I can like wrestle or do grappling. My grappling is good, you know, like on the ground I can grapple. I can stand up if somebody take me. I love when somebody take me down. I love to work from from the ground from the ground, you know. If somebody on top on me, I love to work from that, you know, to turn him like this. And I was now now a coach tell me you have you have to do it. Just wrestle, show that you can. Because he said in the gym you wrestle when you go to the fight you just fight stand up. Don't do it. Show your wrestling, mix it up. But now, coach tell me every time now sparring today, it started, you know, he, he tell me shoot, I shoot, you know. He, now he's, uh, you know, you will see, brother, next fight, yes. in September, pe people tell me now, it only fight like stand up. Yes. But now, after September, take an attack, why you wrestling? You only like, you wrestling like Habib like this, take an attack like this. You don't go stand up, you just put somebody down and you work. You will see, brother, people going to talk like this, but I will do it. I will show yes. you more or less. But but I think uh, before the, the, your last fight, you, you was a great striker, and uh, now your professional record is uh, uh, 18 wins, eight wins and two losses. What is your main goal in this sport? Main goal, brother. If you want to, if if I want to be like you know, I'm gonna be honest with you, brother. If I'm main goal is like you know, everybody want to fight in UFC. You know, it's like Champions League. If, like if you play soccer, you want to play in Champions League. And you want to win the Champions League tie, you know, like I want it to everybody want. But now I'm thinking like different. I can fight in UFC or Bellator too. Yes. Because Bellator, Bellator for if you, at the end you have to watch because you cannot fight like till 40 years, 45. Like some people fighting 40, but it's not good, brother, for your mentally, you know, like, yes, like yes. after like after like 32, 33, 34, stop, just stop fighting. But till this time, try to make your name. You have to, to make name when you stop fighting that you're gonna still make money from it, you know. And then okay. you have more time, with, more time with your family, more. And then you have to help people too. But I want to make money only if if this money gonna help me to help other people. Yes. You know what? You know what I mean. I don't want to talk like this now. You know, I'm good guy like this. But you understand what I mean. If I make good money, my. If I make this good money, my Allah let me help another people. If I don't gonna do helping another people, I don't want to make money, but I don't want to have life, you know, like this stuff like Lamborghini. I, you, you you understand what I mean, but I don't need this stuff because I don't gonna take it to my grave. When I die, I gonna die like this, brother. Even I have 10 million, 20 million, doesn't matter. Brother. It's really interesting. It's really interesting to listen that uh, you have a good mentality and uh, on your career, what is the best advice you received during your career? Just contency. Training, 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 you know? Like you have some people, look, I, I'm going to explain you. You win the fight. Okay, you win the fight. Bam, two, three months vacation. Enjoy time, you know? You don't have time to enjoy. Yes. Okay, okay. Take three, four days like off with your family. You know, if you have mother, take more time with your mother. Go eat, with your wife, family, kid. Take time, and then you have to start again because you have to be content. You know, like every time to, to do That's the same. Sure. Because if you do like this, you know, like you go like this. Like, you have to stay on the top or the same line. But this I understand now because Habib tells this every time too. You can take, you don't, you cannot take two, three weeks off. If you have injury, even he tell this one, you have injury, your right arm is broken, come to the gym, work with the left hand. You can hold this right hand down, work with the left hand. Make Then he said, your left hand going to be stronger. It's going to be get, getting more better. You know, if you work only on the jab, for example, you cannot hit with the right hand one month, you work only with the left hand. Rather, you know, if you work only with the left hand one month, how fast it's going to be and how hard it's going to be. Yes, he yes. Tells, this one, this everything, you know, like the small things, Make it me stronger this time, you know. 
after I lost my last fight in Belarus, I think it a lot. I watched a lot of videos. I talk it with, you know, with cousins of Habib, Habib, Habib. I, I, I learned it a lot, you know. I talk it with coach Javier Mendes too, you know. He said, it's no problem. Some you lose, but you have to learn from it. If you don't learn, then you then you do lose. Then you do lose, you know. I learned from it. Now I'm ready, you know, brother. I'm hungry to fight. Mentally, for me, it's more important, you know, more important and mentally strong now. Yes, for sure. I think if you are a strong mentality and if you mentally you have a, you, you are very good mentality, mentality, you can up, you have the discipline, you have to train and to eat well. But you, Rustam, you know, I'm French and yes. I need to have your point of view about French fighters. What do you think about them? Like, tell me the names, I will tell you. Which fighters? I know you're going to ask a serial guy. No, no, not the, not only this one, but we, we, we will be started with this one. With Siri again, look, brother, he's very fast. For his weight, like heavyweight fighter, he's very fast, you know? I don't know how he move, you know, Fernand Lopez work on him good, you know, on, on his fast. He's, he's fast on his feet, you know? Like, he's moving fast. He move like middleweight. To be to be to be honest, he moved like middleweight. See some fighters like and you see middleweight. They don't move like him even. He moves yes. faster than he he move like he move for me, he moved like middleweight, you know. He is Syria again is very interest interested fighter, you know. I, I know for one hundred percent he's gonna take the title. Okay. And for me, I will. Uh, I, I want to say you. Uh, the next question is the most important. I think I have your advice about this this guy. Tell me something about Ramzan GMB. <laughs> Ramzan. Ramzan is my brother. You know, I, uh, we know each other like two years. You know, we are we, we we get very close. You know, we help each other. You know, I last last time for this last fight, he fight against I don't know it's his name Ilias I think yes. Yes. He's from Marcel, this guy. I went to help him, you know, like with cutting weight. Sufyan Belayin. Yes, yeah, Sufyan, yes. Uh, it's Sufyan, yeah, I think it was Ilyas. And then I helped him with cutting weight, you know. It's, this fight, he, he listened good. He improved, he improved himself, you know. It was a tough fight, you know, three rounds. He showed, you know, he take it all three rounds, you know. I'm happy, I'm happy for him, you know. But, but it was a very hard fight, you know. It was good for him. He improved. He show he can fight like three rounds. It's good, you know. You feel better if you can fight three rounds. Next time he's gonna get more better opponent. People think, you know, you have to build yourself, brother. This is sport. You cannot like even when you start like football soccer team, you cannot they cannot put you in the Champions League if you like low team. You know, you have to start. You have to build your team to buy better spell like better, you know, like get players. Same thing, and it's in MMA, same thing too. You have to start building yourself, your career, you know. You cannot fight, first fight, like people say, I know people telling about Ramzan, same like to me, like other fighters too. Why you bring like other fighters, you know, like with lower record? Rather, you have to build your career self. But you cannot fight like you 2-0, 2-0. You cannot fight against 10-0. Why you have to fight against 10-0? You don't have to do it. It's, there is not like, you know, nothing. If, if you win him, okay, it's it's good for you. But even if this guy from 10-0 win you, what what did he do? Nothing. He just won yes. like begin begin beginner professional fighter. You know, it's like this. You have to build yourself. Ramzan is building himself like very good. Yeah. He's improving fast. I'm happy for him. You know. No, I don't know when he's gonna fight next time. I told him to take a little bit off from fighting because the last cutting weight was very hard. Yes. You know, it was very hard. I tell him don't. I know he listened to me. You know, I talk with him good. I talk with him like his older brother, and he listened to me good. I tell him, don't take, don't try to go fast because I did this fall too. I try to go fast and I lose. I said, don't do it. I make, I make this, I make this falls, but now I'm gonna learn to don't do it. I tell him just listen because I, I want only good thing for him. You know, like because he's my brother, he's my Muslim brother. You know, I want only good thing for him. He have to build himself. I tell him. Take now easy, just train like three or four months, and then we're gonna take one more fight and we go again. Then he's gonna be four and one. Then we're gonna go one one more fight, five and one, and we're gonna build him like this. It, it was nice to have your point of view about him. Uh, Rustam, thank you so much for your presence tonight. It was no a problem. great pleasure for me to, to speak about your life, your career. I wish you all the best for the next step. I hope you will be back thank soon. You. And will be a champion. If you have a message, 
let's go anytime guys uh, I, I i i don't gonna say you like like the correct like you know the date when i gonna fight but it's gonna be in september you have i gonna come with more you know like you will see like great fight i promise you this you know it's not gonna be like you know like just like punching like this but it's gonna be mixed fight i like blood fight you know i gonna put i gonna put the show i need the bonus i only i only will fight for the bonus this fight you know and then you will see french public thank you you're welcome brother see you brother